I worked in a crayfish factory and it was a bad job. They put the live crayfish into a pot of big pot of boiling water, they boil them, they die, and when they die, they also sometimes like <laughs> themselves. And so you have to get them out when they're hot and hose them off. I was working in a kind of a market research thing. I was out of work as an actor. And that's all you have to do is hose the crayfish and then put it back on the line and it goes to the next thing. It was awful market research. It was ones where you try and convince old people to buy insurance. It's awful, awful. I just figured that that wasn't that hard. You could hose and talk at the same time. So I was, I was just talking to people either side of me. And, uh, but I was trying to do this production of the Scottish play, I can say Macbeth or outside. Um, and I was rehearsing that and trying to get time off this market research thing. And I had a much younger boss who was a Kiwi. And apparently you had to do it in silence. You weren't allowed to talk. And I just kept being a smart ass and going, well, I think I can talk and wash at the same time. And one day when I went in to ask for time off, she said to me, Julia, you're going to have to decide what's more important, this or acting. And so the foreman um, put me in the freezer, like in the industrial freezer. And I left pretty much the next day, but I wrote a proper resignation letter. She didn't care. Sure, it's borderline abuse. Um, <laughs> And we've all seen the Brady Bunch where Greg and Bobby got locked in Sam's meat locker. Bobby's small size helped them because he was able to get through the window. I was a, an elf for, at the Flemington Racecourse in 2008 and I was an assistant to Santa and he was on a Segway and he was an absolute asshole. can I say that? Function waiter and I lied about being able to do silver service. I am actually working it right now. It's like a call centre job. So, you know, like people call in and complain about their garden hoses and I am there to listen. I tried to do carrots and they just took off. I, yeah, well, with the spoon and thing and the, the carrots just took off like a hubcap across a, a road. I used to do the night shift cleaning carriages on, on New South Wales railways. And the good thing was that if you cleaned up vomit, you got an extra loading. Years ago, I worked as a veterinary nurse at the RSPCA. I used to go through the carriage looking for all the vomit. <laughs> I made quite, made quite a lot of money. It was like a mash unit, that's what it felt like. And they'd wheel in the afternoon tea trolley while a dog was being castrated, you know, feet away. I was a labourer um, at a golf course for one day. And they said, we're going to move the sand from there to there. And at the end of the day, he said, we did it. And I was like, I still don't know what the point was. I got locked in the freezer by the foreman. There was no small window for me to escape through. And I just had to bide my time. And he would just come and open the freezer and go, have you stopped talking yet? And I go, oh, well, I don't think. And the door would just slam again. It was a good lesson. Next time he opened the freezer and said, have you stopped talking? I went, yeah.